Hey, what's up, guys? It's Follow Tips 101 here, and I'm here with my buddy AJ P. King. What up, everybody? How y'all doing? No saying real talk. Um, and <sighs> we are here on RuneScape. I am doing Slayer tasks. I'm versing killing Dagonaths. Um, these are really good XP for like anything, pretty much, and. As you can see, they pretty much just butt fuck you. There's like seven of them that just surround you. And today, our first topic is going to be bonus EXP weekend. What are your thoughts on that, Andrew? You know, my thoughts are very strong on that. <laughs> I love it. They should just have one every weekend. I mean, like, why not? I can't. Oh, that guy's name is World 46. And you just asked me my strength level. But I think I think it's kind of stupid because it's not really, like, like worth it. Like, you go every, like, 30 seconds, and every 30 seconds you drop, like, a full, like, 2%. So, like... Yeah, but yet again, it's better than nothing, right? Yeah, kind of. Oh, shit, another sick drop. What'd you get? Avento seed. I think that's worth a lot. I got a snapdragon seed, though. And an arret. Right. That's sick. But, like, I'd rather... I'd rather them do just, like, a straight-up double XP. Just, like, times two. Like, I could give a shit if we have, like, a times three that lasts for, like, 15 seconds. So I think that we should just have, like... A, um... What's it called? I think that we should just have a double XP weekend, like just straight up times two throughout like the whole weekend, and like it doesn't drop at any or anything. Dude, this guy's asked me. Uh oh, shit, dude, another Avento seed. Yeah, but these Dagonaths drop like a ton of stuff. Like they drop some pretty good stuff. You have to do Horror of the Deep to do this quest, but. It's actually really helpful because these things you can produce up to like 50 to 60k an hour for strength, attack, or defense. So the the outcome of this after is really good. So it's good XP, it's good charms, it's good drops. Like I've gotten like a, a ton of like seeds and stuff. And I've actually leveled up in... In like, because I was pretty close to leveling up um, constitution and defense anyways, but I burned through like 30k of XP in like a half an hour, so I got some um, nice XP for that. But we're going on to our next topic, and it is bandwagon fans for sports. I, I don't like bandwagon fans. I hate bandwagon people like... If you're gonna watch a sport, you gotta watch the sport. Like, you can't just wait for the playoffs and then suck the team's dick when they're doing nasty and not support them through the off season or anything. Like, that's just stupid. You might as well just. That's like. I don't even know it's a good analogy for that. That's just so ridiculous. Like, I don't do that. If I like a sport. And I like a team. I follow the team through the whole season. I don't just watch them in the playoffs and post statuses and tweet about them. Like, oh, yeah, Bruins. Yeah. Hey, why don't you name somebody on the Bruins? Um, uh, uh, Sidney Crosby? Like, no. Like, it, it, that doesn't work. Like, you can't just do that. So, Andrew, what, do you, what are your thoughts on bandwagon fans? Pretty stupid, you know what I'm saying? I hate him. Oh, them. oh, Toad Flax Seed. Do I'm getting mad drops, gold charms. Fuck yeah. Oh. Yo, open up a window, Derek. All right, but I think that Derek? it's just my opinion that if you're gonna watch sport, that you should just follow through with the. 
the whole team. Like, you can't just watch them when they're doing good. You just got to support them through thick and thin. And I wonder what a Belladonna seed is. But, oh, that actually looks pretty sick. It's like you a have a price checker on your thing. You know that, right? Purple thing. Yeah, I know. But I'm right in the middle of, like, killing all these things. And I'm liking the views that I got on my past video for RuneScape. Um, I think I got like 160 something and like a few likes so pretty pumped up about that thanks guys I really appreciate it and you guys should definitely sub to the AJP King it's my buddy I'm doing the commentation Tate Ting with and for all of you who don't subscribe to him you better Goodbye, Jim. And now our last topic, school. I hate how school is every single day, and it's at 6 o'clock in the morning. I gotta wake up at, but I don't actually wake up at 6. I wake up at 7 o'clock, and my bus comes at like 7.05, and I still look fine for school, and I just haul ass. Dude, this guy's asked me to find some rings or something for a Slayer task. It's so weird. Oh, it's probably... I think I know what you're talking about. What do I have to do? I don't know. But I think I know what you're talking about. Um, I kind of like school, but the only reason that I go to school is because it's the law, and also because I could see like all my friends and stuff, and for girls. Because to be honest, if I went to an all-boys school, I could give a shit about anything. I would probably just like be pissed off all the time and not do anything but it's like such a waste I feel like we should start school at like nine o'clock and go to like 4 30 and like the kids in like elementary school should start at like seven because my brother's always up and at him at like six o'clock in the morning playing like call of duty on his xbox and I'm sitting there in bed, like, barely being able to sit up without passing out. Oh, I have to find the barriers. And I'm only a freshman in high school, too, so I got, like, a solid three more years plus four more of college. So, and I'm not a morning person, so I'm never going to get used to it. it. Sucks pretty bad. But after that, hopefully I can get a job that's, like, after, like, 8 o'clock. That I can get up at, be at work for like 9, maybe like 8.30. That'd be pretty nice. But, yeah, college is going to be pretty intense, don't you think, Andrew? Yeah. Me. Parties, bitches, pussy. What's that? PBP. I go by my W's. I live by the W's, weed and women. Yeah. Green chocolate. Alright, after a few more Dagonats, we're gonna go give this a price check. And right. it's probably not a lot, but. Wait, can I give a shout out nice. real quick? Yeah. I wanna give a shout out to my total level 1,500 just today? Yeah. Whoop. Uh, this guy uh, I forgot to answer that guy who like p chatted me, but um, yeah. If you guys want to add me on RuneScape, my name is Follow Tips One Hundred One right there. That Lionheart, that's a thing of loyalty points. You don't have to include that. Oh, you got when did you get that? Like so long ago. I got it like over the summer or whatever, or like. Ooh, a poison ivy seed. Gold charm. More gold charms. Yeah, but as you can see, this is like the perfect place for red chinchampas or even regular chinchampas. Or actually like a, a um, dwarf cannon because there's... See all those yellow dots? Like, those are all the monsters. And if you literally just plop one down right in the middle, there it's like a multi-way combat zone, like... That's why they're all, like, attacking me. So, you yeah. can get, like, a ton of range XP. 
this is probably like a good spot to get 99 range, I, I'd think. Nice. And I think it's a pretty good spot to train it. Some shitty spears, mithril spear. And that's probably going to close off the video for today, guys. Remember to comment in the comment sections below. I know what to say, though. Give the video a like and to subscribe to Fallout Tips 101 and my friend, the AJP King. See y'all later. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. Peace out. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I forgot to do the price check, so the total price check came out to be 57K. See you guys later.